Hello everyone. Today I've been working on adding some uh, support for the SparkFun quick boards into Flowcode 9. I've created a few components. Um, I've got a component here for the RFID module which contains the ID12LA uh, RFID meet reader. It's a 125 kHz RFID reader module. I've also made a component for the quick joystick which includes a joystick and a digital switch. Um, lastly I've, I've adapted our SSD 1306 I2C component uh, for um, the quick OLED board um, to drive that. And I've just made a, a, a quick program to demonstrate these three I2C devices working together. These are all connected to the same I2C peripheral, so they're all on channel 1. I'm using an Arduino Uno at the moment, uh, but it could be anything. Uh, it could even be software I2C if you, if you wish. So they're all connected to the same channel 1. In my program, I initialize the three modules, I set the font scale for the graphical display, I've got a, a simple component macro to display a message uh, which basically just clears the display and then outputs uh, the string parameter to the display. I've then got my infinite loop which contains a short delay so we don't rattle around the loop too fast. I check the RFID, RFID reader for a new uh, tag. If a tag has been recorded, then I check to see if it's a known ID. If we look at the component properties, then it can uh, it can store a number of IDs um, as as known IDs. And currently, this is set to five, um, so you can you can increase this as required. Uh, if it's a known ID, then we'll go down this branch where we turn on our LED, which is connected to pin D5. We'll print a message open, we'll wait a few seconds, and then we'll go back to our ready state and turn our LED back off. So the LED could be used for something uh, like a relay that might control a door, and then we would have access control via a RFID card. If the tag is unknown to us, then we go down here and we'll sample the switch on the joystick uh, board. If the switch is pressed, then we will store the tag ID, in which case we will either get an OK message that the tag has been stored OK, or a fail, uh, which might happen if, if we've run out of storage locations. And then we'll go back to the ready state. If the button is not pressed and we, we just get a random um, tag coming up to the reader, then we'll get the message fail and then after two seconds we'll go back to the ready state. So if I compile this program to my hardware, there it's compiling and now it's programming. And I'll just bring that up on camera so you can you can see the hardware connected here. I have the quick, the quick board connected via uh, Raspberry Pi um, interface. Uh, this is just uh, because it's what I had available on my desk. Um, it could just as be easily be connected to a Pi or, or via another method. But you can see here are my various uh, quick boards all wired together via the same I2C connection. I have uh, my LED on my Arduino. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but hopefully you can see when it lights up. And I've currently got ready printed on the display. So if I scan my RFID card, we get a fail. Fail again. So now if I press the switch and scan it, we've now got the OK message. And if I scan it again now, we've got open and our LED 
is lit. So I'm proving I'm, I'm not cheating here. I've got a, a second tag that I can scan, which again, fail, fail, and my original tag, open. Let's store this second tag, press the switch, add it into the system, okay, and now both tags should open the door. Thanks very much for watching, I've been Ben Rowland and this has been Flockered version 9.